Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're gonna take a little shabby sneak peek at Anima Chef here. This was another uh, sub sponsored, well, I don't wanna say sponsored, but sub suggested game to try out that's on, makes me feel dirty to say this, but it's on Epic Games. And uh, you know, they really thought this was in our niche, so I thought, hey, why not? Let's go check this bad boy out. So, got two things I love, automation and cooking. So let's get into the campaign here and see what we got here. So basic tutorial, deliver three meals, keep electricity usage under 500 watts, I'm gonna assume, and it use fewer than 50 ingredients. Okay. 50 ingredients for three meals seems like a lot. Budget's 40,000, okay. So, hello there, fellow human. Uh, thank you for spreading my advertisement, helping me in setting up my new restaurant chain. My plan is to use fully autonomous kitchens to cut costs and crush mankind. I mean, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. And this, the kind of humans love to eat to digest. Grr! Uh, before we start on our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions. Let's make sure this is a business plan of mine is feasible. You can move with the WASD keys. And you can go through camera positions with C and X, and you can also go in and out with the uh, scroll wheel. Let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make plain burgers, which is a sin, by the way. If you're eating a plain burger, I've got questions. We'll start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients. Okay. So, click on the assembler and parts list, then place it in the marked spot. So, it wants me to do this. Okay. So great, now that we've got an assembler, now click on the assembler and select plain burgers as the dish. Okay, whoops. Recipe to follow, plain burger. Click okay. So what do we got? Output mode, where to put finished dishes. Finished dishes on the left. Output operation is normal. Oh man, this could get real confusing soon. I love it. So before we place any more machines, we'll have to take a look at the recipe to see what we will need. Click on the recipes button to view the plain burger recipe. This is the recipes button. Burger bun, raw patty to cooked patty, assembled with burger bun to plain burger. There are some machines we can use to dispense, cook, and transport the ingredients. Click the close button. Okay. So select the dispenser in the parts list and place two of them in the locations I've marked. Don't forget to use Q and E to make sure they face. So, dispenser one and two. All right. Now, right click on top of one to configure it to dispense. So we are gonna dispense a burger from the top because burgers go on the top. Okay, seconds between ingredients, five, interesting. And then here, man, there's a lot of like micromanaging in this, which is so cool. All right, so now we've got a source of raw patties. We will, means we need to cook them. A grill, a grill will do the job. Select a grill from the list, electric grill. You wanna go here? Okay. It doesn't seem like it matters which way that faces. I'm gonna put it like this then. Great work. Now let's get those ingredients moving. Select the conveyor belt from the part list. So conveyor belt. Oh, you want me to do this first? Bing, bang, bang. Bing. Conveyor belts cannot directly feed into a grill or assembler, so we need to use the ro use robotics to handle the transportation. Okay, that's cool. So click on the robotic arm, dumb, in the parts list and place them in the locations I've marked. All right, so I need a dummy here. Okay, and they do have a directional marking, so... Okay. We need to pick up grill or cooked patties from the grill and place them into the assembler. Robotic Arms Dumb will pick up anything, so they will pick up raw patties as soon as it is placed in front of them. Instead, we need to use a Robotic Smart so that we can configure it only to pick up cooked. Okay, so dumb anything smart, we can tell it what to do. It's not as intelligent as us humans, so it needs to be told exactly what ingredient to pick up. Right click on them and select cooked patties. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, ba -ba 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 cooked patty. Okay. Now we can make a small test run of our kitchen. Let's see how everything works out. Click the start button. Start. That cost 18 grand. So this seems more like a puzzle game, more so than a straight automation game, you know? It's cool though. How long does it take to cook? So roughly, oh, it said five seconds. That's right. So as soon as one more patty goes on the grill, the other one's sent out. Power usage is between 12 to 13,000. Info lenses, cool.
This is delivered too. And then there's our third one coming right there. I see what it means by ingredients used. So my goal was only to make three, but because I had them going out every five second intervals, obviously I had enough to potentially make like eight of them. All right, but we did it. We got three checkpoints here. Money spent, we see our watt efficiency, meals delivered, meals failed, efficiency. Next, we're gonna look into, look into making our machines more efficient. Join me again when you're ready. All right, now we're gonna deliver five, keep electricity under 500 and you still use less than 50. I mean, it's still just as efficient. I could still do that, but it's fine. Start. All right, you're back. So this is the same thing, patty into better. Okay, cool. So it's time to learn how we can make our kitchens more efficient so we don't waste ingredients or energy. But first, I need you to finish the kitchen layout. Currently, its layout is suited for plain burgers, but I need it to produce cheeseburgers. Okay. Uh, click to continue. It's always a good idea to look at the recipe first. Let's see what ingredients are needed so we know the recipe. It's probably a freaking plain burger with cheese on it. Holy crap, it is. Oh, we need to slice the cheese. Who cut the cheese? I know it was you. It was Minchi, wasn't it? All right, close the menu. The way this is simple. It already has two robot arms feeding ingredients into it, which is the maximum it can support. Okay. We're adding cheese. We'll need to transport it to the assembler on that same conveyor about the bat, the burger patties use or buns. I mean, it's currently picking up the burger bun. We'll pick up any ingredients. So we'll be able to pick place the cheese slice into there too. Okay. Click on the dispenser in the part list and place it to the marked location with Q and E. All right. Right click it to configure it for cheese. Cheese. Okay. Then we need a food processor. Okay. Food processor. Bam. Okay, so it just goes right into that. That's cool. Boop. Requires no additional setup. It will automatically process any ingredient that passes through it. Some more advanced dishes will require ingredients to be processed multiple times. Then we just need to configure the assembler. Right click and set it to say the cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Okay. So the manufacturing time is five seconds. If we assume one second per conveyor belt. Interesting. So now to run the kitchen and check everything works. Press the start button. So like one, two, three. So about one second to get through each one. And then a one second for the food processing. So that's at the perfect speed that it needs to be. So if I did one, two, three. And another second perhaps to transfer. It hits this, another one pops out, okay. Trying to think of like timing in my head here because obviously we want to send out three cheeseburgers but we want to use less than 50 ingredients so the or five cheeseburgers so the ideal measure would be to basically have it send out five right and only five and to do that i would need five seconds for the grill so about nine for this setup about nine seconds for travel time another 10 seconds to get in here five seconds for it to process so 15 seconds 16th puts it on here 17 18 19 21 2 3 4 5 and about 6 so 25 to 26 seconds per burger right so the kitchen i didn't see what the flaw was the kitchen has a flaw it will endlessly produce cheeseburgers what a waste of ingredients and more importantly electricity misuse of electrons may make me feel sad and angry ingredients are constantly being dispensed and the grill is always on even if no one has ordered a burger that cannot be allowed we can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are only prepared when orders come through. Select the order reader. That's pretty cool. With all that math in my head that I was just making up and doing is probably useless. So let's put an order reader down. Right click it and set it to detect cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger. Now that the order reader will detect whenever a cheeseburger order is placed, we can use it to control up to four machines. Okay. Now select plus new connection to part. All right. Left click. Okay. So select do nothing to expand the control options and then select the option to perform actions at one time. Okay. Wait. So it performs action. Oh, right here. So like perform action one times on new order. Gotcha. I was looking at the one times in the corner over there. So new connection. We'll do this. Do this. Perform action one times on a new order. New part. Patty. 
One times and finally the grill. Select do nothing and then on while order is pending. On while order is pending. Okay. Now click okay. Great work. Now let's see what happens when we press start. Okay. On the left, there are where customer orders will appear. I'll simulate customer orders. Simulate. Makes me sound almost like a machine. Humorous. Yep. Aren't you gonna... Do I just hit this? Oh, this is speeding up time. That's perfect. I need to speed up the time. So energy usage is up there. The question is, why are my ingredient usages at 21? So perfect. We've vastly improved the efficiency of the kitchen. I knew you were the person for the job. I think it's time to start on our first premises. The world won't know what is about to unfold. <laughs> mm, yes. Let's open up our first restaurant, shall we? All right. So that was bad. Let's see. So that means, oh, what's the Chinese New Year update? Oh, man. That sounds a little harder. So let's go with our first taste here. So we got to deliver 10 meals, electricity under 500, and use fewer than 40 ingredients. Okay. So I got to do this all by myself, too. So 10 orders to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 500 and use fewer than 40 ingredients. We got to make cheeseburgers and burgers. Okay. So start this. Time has come. The reign of mankind's hunger is about to end. Here's the first kitchen. It's empty now, but I think it has potential. Here's the plan. Scale up quickly, opening numerous kitchens and serving more complex meals as our technology improves. We gain the trust of the public, get some coverage, become a popular choice, and then when everyone's eating our food, well, you'll have to wait. Let's start simple. Offering a cheeseburger and a plain burger. After all, we know we can easily produce these. Now we just need to get them, get need to taste them on the public. We just need to test them, not taste them on the public and make sure the taste is as satisfactory as they look. All right, so let's do this here. So I gotta remember all of my thingies. So I'm gonna need this. I need an assembler, right? So I'm gonna curb that here. Do this. I'm gonna put a conveyor like this. I'm gonna get a robot arm dumb like this. Okay, that's perfect right there. Now let's get two dispensers, right? No, I'm gonna need three dispensers and I can only use two robots in here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like this. One, two, right? Conveyors. One, two, like this, because I hope they can pop out. I never actually tried it like this. We'll see. I don't know if I... Oh, yeah, see, look, they don't. I need... The arms could do it, but... Okay, hold on. So, let's, uh... Oh, no. They're, they're, they're making noise because I haven't selected anything for them. So, like, for instance, this will be ingredients to dispense. This will be cheese. Okay. Right click. There we go. This will be a bun. Okay. Seconds between ingredients. Okay, five is the lowest. Hit okay here. So then what I'm going to do is we'll put a dumb one here, right? Wait, I need a food processor here. So I actually need to get rid of this. Delete. I, I forgot that I just placed it down. I didn't uh, just push it over it. So there we go. Do that. We'll put a dummy right here. And then I'm going to do... I'm gonna put a grill here. I need a smart arm right here. I need a conveyor belt right here. And I need you filter ingredient. I need you to be a cooked patty. Okay. And do 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 dispenser right here. Oops. And you will be a raw patty. Okay. So there's that, right? Now I'm going to make two orders, right? So let's get an order releaser. I'm going to put, um, I want the aesthetic, right? I want them right here. The, oh, this is where recipe to follow. Oh, wait, can I not do two recipes? Finish dishes on the left of the right recipe to follow. 
Oh, I can only do one? I could have sworn I could do two on these. That's silly. Why can't I do two? All right, I got to readjust here so I can bring you here. Ah, that's such a waste. Like, why can, why does it have so many input, like have two outputs if I can't tell it to do two things? Recipe to follow, cheeseburger, plain, whatever. All right, so there's our burger. So let's get the plain one set up, right? So order detect will be plain burger. This, you will uh, perform an action. This, you'll perform an action. Uh, da -da -da. This, actually no, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm gonna do, um, let's see. Actually, no, I don't think I need it to do anything with that. No, so, um, Oh, did I stop it? Oh, hold on. So, plain burger. New por port right here. You are going to perform the action. New connection, this one. You are going to perform the action. Uh, this one. You are going to... You're on while the order is pending. And then finally, this one. You're going to perform an action. Okay, so that's for the plain cheeseburger. Plain cheeseburger complete, right? And finished products, recipe to follow, plain burger. Okay, good. Next step. So I'm just gonna mimic this essentially. So I'm gonna do this. Actually, hold on. First of all, I'm gonna put the assembler right here. I'm gonna grab a dumb arm right there and that'll just send it out, right? Then I need to feed stuff into here. So I need robot arms. I'm gonna put Dumb here. And this one, did I set this one? Yep, cook pad. That one's fine. Dumb there. Nope, actually, let me, um. Oh, it can do things? Cool. Put that here. I'm gonna put the smart one here, right? So, and then. Convey. Er, no. Not conveyors. That one will go there. This one will go here dispenser right here uh, electric grill here so this is going to dispense a patty yep that'll dispense a patty that'll go through here this will Pick up only non-spoiled food. Cool. Uh, do do do. Cooked patty. Okay. So cooked patty. Thought I told you to do a patty. Patty. And then I'm gonna do a dispenser right here for a bun, and then right there for cheese. So this will be burger bun. Okay. I need a. Well, where was it? Food processor. Right here. For cheese. Oh no, I don't. This is cheese. Okay, hold on. I can, uh, I can get rid of this. I forgot I put that up there. There we go. So cheese processor. That also means I can get rid of this. Boom, 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 boom. That's good. Okay. So now let's do a cheeseburger. Okay. Actually, this one is going to be, I got to set that to cheeseburger as well. Oh, but I need this to come out the right side because that's where my thingy is. Okay. And now let's set this up. So, order to detect cheeseburger, connect a new part. This, you are going to perform an action. This, action. How did I do this with a cheeseburger last time if it requires four actions? Maybe I just leave the assembler running. Burger bun. And then this I'll do uh, on while the order is pending. Okay. Yeah, because I can't add any more. So that would mean this is going to run all the time. But maybe that's okay, though. All right, let's test it. I am less. All right, let's uh, speed this up, though. Hey. 
What's the... Oh, I forgot the arm. I'm stupid. Stop. I forgot. I need an arm to get on here, so I need to do something like this. Robot arm dumb. Conveyor belt right there. If I do that, I do that, and then I can do robot arm dumb this. Okay, that should be fine. Start it up. Try again. I forgot that they can't put things on to the grill automatically. Shame. It's a shame, but it's fine. Two plain burgers, a cheeseburger. My energy usage is out of control, though. Buzz. Hold on, so what's our issue here? So it's not picking these up. We'll put them on over here. This one is, because it's going on. I need to tell it which, whoops. Stop. I need to tell it. So operation mode is straight. Um, what if I do right? Does that make it pick up from the right and then put back down where it's facing? Start it up. If that's the case, then fine. That's absolutely fine. I just need to know. That's all. Nope, that's still not doing it. I might just have to make it go straight. Oh, I see. Hold on. Like this. There we go. When you change it, the arrow changes so you know it's going to take from here and go that way. Haha, cool. I actually like that. That's nifty. Speed her up. All right, we, we got it this time, I think. I think we're okay here. I think we're okay. I'm just worried about that energy usage because it's pretty high. I could probably lower that a bit with the con turning down the conveyor belt, but we'll, uh, I'll, I'll kind of just see where I'm at for a moment here and see what I got going. Order's about to expire again. What's the issue? What's it not taking? Cheeseburger again, so... Waiting on ingredient cheese. No room for ingredient. What do you mean, no room? Can it not... Stop. Can this not dispense directly into a processor? Start her up. All right. Now we got to be good. Okay, so it's because it can't go into it sideways, which makes sense, I guess. So I'm going to do this. Stop this. Rotate that. It's got to connect. I can put a conveyor belt here like this. And I can just take this and delete this, and I can put this right here. So if I do... Actually, if I just do this, do that, do this, delete that out, it'll go through it just like normal. One, two, three. That's probably good. All right. Start her up. We're getting it. We're getting it. See, that's the issue with some tutorials, because it's like, it doesn't show you when you do something wrong. It's just kind of like, do exactly this. And I don't like to do exactly that. I gotta, I gotta move stuff around and be weird about shit, right? There we go. We're sending shit through now. Come on. Go get it. And we should actually be good on the, with the uh, energy usage here. Success. 10 orders fulfilled. So the orders will keep coming. So that's where the timing in between orders can probably be helpful. So money spent. Okay. 100%. 100% efficiency. Pretty good. Would you like to save your kitchen layout before returning? Sure. Why, why not? Right here. I guess. All right. 
let's do one more. Let's do one more. If you if you are loving Automa Chef, do hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment what you know what you're thinking about this as well. And also, do hit subscribe if you are new here so you can get back here for that sweet, shabby content. All right, let's do uh, Let Us Begin. Deliver five meals, keep electricity under 400, and use fewer than 35. I'm wondering, am I going to make a salad or like a regular burger? <gasps> Is this a BLT? Am I making... Am I? Excuse me. Am I, am I making BLTs? Is there no avocado on that BLT? Because avocado belongs on a BLT. Leave me a leave me a comment below if you believe in the avocado on the BLT. It's a Balt, okay? A B A L T. All right. Burgers were a success. The public's ecstatically indifferent toward them, giving me feedback such as, yes, it had taste, and stop asking me questions. Leave me alone, you freak. I managed to get this place at a discount rate. Apparently, humans are not keen on working in tight spaces, a privilege those stupid machines don't care for. Now, I know what you're thinking, fellow carbon-based life form, fellow converter of complex protons, what can we do in this limited space? Well, it turns out we're able to achieve a lot here. We can offer a brand new dish, the BLT Sandy. Pay close attention to the recipe and the required steps. The space looks unlimited, but you'll ease, you will easily fit in the required machines. Remember, efficiency will be key in our continued partnership. So, click the recipe tab. Two pieces of sliced bread. One tomato, sliced. Crispy cooked bacon and lettuce. So I gotta run a tomato a, and bread, two pieces of bread, through the through processors. Okay, so let's try this out first. So, first things first, what I'm gonna do is this. Let's put our, not a dispenser, I want the assembly. The assembler. I'm gonna put it right here, no. I'm gonna put it right, no, I'm gonna put it right here. Right there, perfect. And then I'm going to get a, a dumb arm. Do this. Change this to be uh, left. Okay. And then turn it. So there we go. Now it's going to pull from there and put it in. Beautiful stuff. Now let's set this up to be a BLT. I can't wait till I can put stuff on the right hand side too. So it takes eight seconds to do that. So first things first. All my dumb stuff on the top. Bacon on the bottom. Right? So... Okay, close the dumb arm. Smart arm right here. This is going to pick up. Nope, straight's fine. Straight's fine. Okay. Oh, this is dumb. Smart. There we go. And I want you to pick up crispy bacon right there. Th those look burnt to me, but we'll, we'll, that's a discussion for later. So let's get the bacon set up first. So I'm going to put this in here. I want to turn that. I like that looking like that. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to do a, we need another dumb arm right here. And then I need a conveyor belt going this way. And I'm going to put in, where is my dispenser? Right here. Dispenser. So this is going to give me bacon. Sweet, sweet bacon. So now what I need to do, so that's our bacon. Bacon's good. Bacon's great. Bacon's good. So if I do a conveyor belt here, this will get everything where I need to be, right? Right, so. And then, th this is where I'm trying to think here. I don't know if I'm giving myself enough space here. So if I do a dispenser right here, right? This will be, oops, not tomato. This can be lettuce, right? Okay. So you know what? I got an idea. I'm going to move all this down one. Give myself some room here. So now I can do something like that, right? And then what I'm going to do is put this here. I'm going to put a processor. I'm going to put a processor right here. And then if I do a conveyor belt here and one more right here, actually, should I do, I'm going to have to do it like this. So let's see what I'm worried about is the timing of things. If I do something like this, right? So if I do, you know, bread. Red, okay. And then here I've got my tomato, right? So it's going to go through process. So what if I did...
How much is this? That's pretty cheap, actually. It's like cheaper than a conveyor belt, too, right? So if I do this, bring that here, bring that here, bring that here. Do bread down here. Right here. Food processor here. Right? Is it cheaper? Where's my conveyor belt? Conveyor belt. No, it's 250 bucks. But you know what? I got the money. So let's do something like that. So one will come out, get sliced. Tomato will come out, get sliced, as well as a piece of bread. And because of the second delay in there, it'll get in and keep everything running smoothly and not have a hold up. Actually, I'm curious to see if they'll get cut at the same time. So let's put them just like this. So boom, 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 boom. Pick up anything, put anything in. Okay. So the key here is the ordering, huh? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to get rid of you. Whoops. Didn't want to get rid of that last one. I'm going to put in a dispenser here. All right. This is going to be for bread. Okay. Okay. Nope, didn't do it. Bread, not bacon. Bread. Okay. So now let's put my order in. Do that. I gotta get a, one more conveyor belt here. Thank you very much. Order. Order up BLT. So I need to keep the grill on the entire time. That's the only issue here. So I'm gonna do this. You are gonna, oops, perform one action. You are going to perform one action. You are going to perform two actions. And then you are going to perform one action. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit of electricity waste here, so I'm a little nervous about that. But I only have got five dishes to set out. So let's start it real quick. Let's just check what we got here. So I'm curious about the bread. That's my most curious one here. Energy is still really good. Oh, hold on. So something. Oh, what the? What are these breadcrumbs? Stop. Let me look at that recipe again. Ah, toasted. <laughs> toasted. Stupid. <laughs> All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of magic here, real quick. Let's let's switch switch these around. I'm gonna put this here. All right, put this up here, real quick. Move this so uh, tomatoes need to be sliced. Right, so that'll go this way. Uh, lettuce needs to just go, so that's gonna go and go. Okay, actually, I can probably tweak this a little bit like this. Do that. Okay, that's good. So one done. Bread. Or sorry, not one. Um, let me do this. So all my toasting is going to go on the bottom. All my cooking... No, cooking will go on the top because I've got... I got a smart arm. Let me think about this. Okay, I scrapped the whole thing and tried something new here. It's not the most optimized, but I think this will get the job done. So to quickly break through, obviously we got the order maker on everything. I've got bread coming out here and going on to the grill with the smart bot to take it off and just put it onto a compare belt where a dumb bot will go. Same thing with the crispy bacon. I could do something like this, for instance, and just have one bot working, but I think this will work smoother. And actually, let's swap these around. Let's do, um, let's actually do bread at the top just because there'll be a little bit more activity with the bread rather than the bacon. So if I do that, then I'm just going to make sure I change my arms. I'm going to make this toast. Okay. And then make this the bacon. Okay, I think that'll work better just because there's more happening down here as well. So that'll keep activity rolling. So let's give this a start here and just kind of see what happens. I think everything's facing the right way as well. So I want to test this out. See, my issue with the bread is that it just takes so long to make two at a time. Because you can only have the interval set to five seconds. And look, I'm using a lot of power here. And I use too many... Oh, wait, the... There's only four spots on the grill. 
All right, hold on. Stop. So I'm, I'm getting clogged up because there's only four spots on the grill and other orders are coming out too fast. So what's... So like seconds between ingredients is five. Like I can't change that, which is... It's awful. That's trash. It's absolute trash. The only other thing I could do is put another bread maker in, but that wouldn't help. This one's actually throwing me for a little loop, and it's not even supposed to be that hard. I feel like I just got too many moving pieces all at once here. So I made it to five without it being too much of an issue, but the bread, it's the bread. How do I make the bread faster, or do I make everything else slower? What if I change this to, like, ten? Right? That would double the time in there. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I got, oh, I forgot. I changed this around. Oh, that's my issue. Hold on. Two, one. That was my issue. Let me change, let's keep those at 10. I just want to see what that does anyways. I forgot we switched these around, so I, the, they were spitting out too much bacon at a time. All right, that's better. I don't think we need the 10 second delay, but I think I just barely made it in time. Okay, oh, there we go. That was the stupid part. It was just because I switched those two things around in the middle and forgot to do it on my order processor. But all right, guys, that's been Autumn Chef. Honestly, I think it's pretty good. It's more of a puzzle game rather than um, pure like automation goodness that I enjoy, but I still, I think I'm gonna like this a bit. So if you wanna see more, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you thought of this. And as usual, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well so you get back here for that shabby content. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Do. I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.